to be sexually pure, you've got to believe that, yes, God is able to keep me pure. God is able to help me. I can obtain this through God. And you must know that, okay, it's not by my efforts. You must also know that, okay, I have to be transparent. I have to be genuine. I have to be real. I have to be really me. I have to be me. I don't have to be somebody else to be fake, you know. You have to love the word of God. You have to really depend on it. If not, you get confused. Most times, you will go and then it looks as if, okay, everybody is doing it. Why am I not doing it? My sister, my brother, don't do it. Don't join them. Stand. Stand alone with God. And you'll be so glad. You'll be grateful to God for him helping you and for helping you to take that decision. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Sometimes you ask yourself, okay, everyone seems to have boyfriend. Everyone seems to have girlfriend. Everyone is doing it. Why can, can't I have my own? How am I going to get married without this? My dear... The beginning of your confusion is when you begin to, you know, look for somebody to, to help you. Let's say, um, I need a boyfriend so that uh, I'm always lonely. I need somebody. That means you don't even you don't even know what you're doing. You are just you have not even started existing, my dear. The moment you start existing, you know, you find your purpose. You pursue it. You pursue God at the right time. Not for you to be confused and become entangled with somebody who doesn't know his or her left from her right or from his right. Don't do that. Depend on God. Allow the Holy Spirit to help you. He's your lover. Jesus is your love. He's everything you need. Pursue after God. He purpose, you know. You'll be glad there's joy in it. You know, there's joy. There's really joy and peace. I pray God helps us in Jesus' name. Amen.